Hello everyone. Happy Friday to you all. Hope you're having a safe and good evening. Uh, weekend is ahead of us. And uh, here we are tonight, sitting here wondering what's in that box. Anybody got any ideas before we start going here? Huh? Hurry, think quick. I know tonight I left it kind of vague, or for this out of the box one, I guess I left it kind of vague. It's because it's in a plain brown box. I already got the car out of here because it's sitting on a um, one of my frame jigs, whatever you want to call it. But before we get started on that, I want to ask everybody a question. I'm still kind of new to a lot of this YouTube stuff. And I've seen a lot of people have shop cards. What's the deal behind them and how does it work? I'm curious. I kind of played around with a couple of my own. And uh, this is kind of what I've come up with. I don't know if this is what y'all do with it or not or what. Or what do you do with them? Yeah, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Clue me in. Still kind of new, like I say, and still learning. So help me out. We'll get the car out of this box and we'll show you what we got in that box. All right. For those of you that are still trying to figure me out, <laughs> you're probably better off not to. But for those of you that are still trying to figure me out, there's just a, um, I don't know, kind of a twisted sense about my mind sometimes, the way it works. But the box has, an, or had, it's sitting behind the box right now, but it's a 1967 Shelby GT500. And let's just say it's slightly worked over. Um, I'll just show you what I mean. The best way to do it is just show you. That's what I've got so far. Like I say, it's a 1967 Shelby. It's sitting on top of a NASCAR chassis. And yes, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> it's got a lot of parts within just the body itself alone. I'm sure you can see the 67 Shelby within it. Um, I hope I remember everything that's in this thing, but we're going to try to do the best I can here. I know one of the guys left the comment on, you know, asking a question one time. Well, how do you remember all the stuff that you put into those cars? Well, I don't always remember everything. And you're going to probably find that out tonight. But <laughs> I'm going to try to pick it up a little bit here just to kind of show you the, well, tires are going to fall off. But we'll just do it this way. This uh, glass has got, like I say, it's one of my mock-ups. Where you see the car sitting is going to be where the final ride height's going to be at. I've got little shims if you will or whatever you want to call them glued to the bottom of the car and there it goes that's the front end shot of it i'm process of trying to build like a hill climber pikes peak time type car out of this it may just end up being just kind of a wicked little street car or you know race car or i don't know what what to build with it exactly yet but I'm just going where it takes me. It's going to have a 427 Ford big block engine in it. It's going to have twin turbos on it. We'll get to that here here shortly. But first off, like I say, that's the oh, that's the right height. You can see the little square tubing that I have underneath it. That's what's shimmed it up to the right height of where it's going to be when it's done. But first off, hold on one second. Whew! Allergies going on here. Sneezing my poo head off. <laughs> but um, the main port, main core part of the body, the rear quarters, the tail end of the rear quarters, the back rear fascia, the rear valance, the roof, all the back window, the windshield, top of the fenders, down to the front nose piece, cowl, are all the 67 Shelby. The nose of 67 Shelby down to the split of the front bumper. Front bumper, the lower valance is off the Celine Mustang, the newer uh, newer bodied Mustang. This piece that you see on the bottom, the chin spoiler, is a piece of just evergreen plastic, cut and shaped to the, fit the contour of the nose. Burning out a light here. There we go. Y'all will recognize the teardrop hood scoop out of the, um, I think the 66 or 67 Ford uh, 
Galaxy kit, AMT kit. The front hoops, I think, if I remember right, are the rear inner, inner wheel wells off of one of the Ravel Monogram Ferrari kits. This is just the inner bare, basic inner, inner wheel well, just to cover the rear tires. The flares on the rear, I forget where they came from. I don't know if it came off of... Um, no, I don't think it came off on the Cobras. I forget where they came from. The side skirts are uh, just, these are just pieces of uh, evergreen plastic. Cut, glued to the bottom. Then I use that um, epoxy sculpt putty. Putty everything in and coming up around, down through, and up and around. This is all epoxy sculpt putty in through here. This is some of this guy be sanded and fine-tuned yet. The back end I'm going to probably just leave as is. I thought about putting some like diffusers on the bottom back, but I don't know how I'd do it unless I put them right on the fuel cell. I really don't want to do that. But... At first I had this mocked up as a 67 Mustang with the Mustang taillights in it, but the more I got to thinking about it, it's like, you know, this thing would make a little bit better looking car with the Shelby taillights on it and the nose on it. So I went with the Shelby, Shelby parts on it versus the Mustang parts, just because of the the look, the you know the overall look and the attitude of the car, if you will. These air dams, I'm gonna probably plumb air lines or air intakes to this one and this one, and those will be the air intakes coming up to the twin turbos that'll be on on top or on in front of the engine. The engine, like I say, it's just a parts box engine. Just gonna be a <clears throat> like a 427 or whatever have you sitting down inside there. I've got an intake for it as well. <clears throat> Twin turbos will probably sit somewhere up in this region. The radiator will be either closer to the front or the radiator may be closer to the engine with the turbos mounted in front of it. I haven't quite sure figured out how I want to space and place everything in there. But there's a lot of room in the front of the engine bay to where I can get a couple turbos mounted up in front like I say it is a NASCAR chassis I'm gonna pop it apart here the brakes are off of a Tamiya kit I forget what Tamiya kit they came off of they come off of a Tamiya kit and this is the chassis cut down the back half has been cut and shaved off to fit the contour of the Shelby body I did cut a little bit off the edges here up to the side arc of the, the wheel well. And then I shaved the tops of the front, you know, the wheel wells off and then shaved the openings on the sides here to get it to fit the body a little bit better. <clears throat> a lot of it is just kind of hitting and missing. You take a little bit off, try it, it's still too tight, take a little bit more off. You just work it down until you get to the point where it fits inside the body. And this I've gotten it to where it's fitting pretty, pretty snug, pretty good. I had to cut and shorten the front, front frame trusses or the re all the bars up front. I had to cut and shorten them all back, modify them back. Um, roll cage, as you can tell, has been cut and shortened in height. This top bar is usually flush or just a little bit above the top of the cowl line. Well, the cowl itself has been cut and shortened down as well. I cut this down about eighth of an inch. The roll bar has been cut down about quarter of an inch to get it to fit, fit the height. As well as this bar has been cut and moved back on both sides because normally this bar would come down almost on top of this, this area right here. Well, you can see on the other side here, I guess. That bar right here would normally sit on top of that bar right here. So I moved it almost, not quite a quarter of an inch back, but pretty close to it. The reason being, the reason why I did that, I had to move these, these bars back to clear the windshield. Otherwise, they'd be too far forward. I wouldn't be able to get a windshield into the body on it. Um, you can see a little bit here where I had to shave across the top here to get it to fit inside the body. Right now, these bars tuck right up inside this area of the body. I'm, they're right... The, the body is basically touching the roll bar once it's up inside. 
undershot of the bottom, bottom half of the chassis. The chassis is going to stay white. That's why I started putting it together. It's going to remain, stay white. I don't know if I'm going to touch up the interior with a couple of different colors or I may just leave it all white. The padding, the padding on the roll bar will get painted in black. I got to detail all that, all, yeah, all the padding. And then I've got, get it in there without dropping everything here. Got a race seat, that's what's going to go inside of it. <clears throat> It'll have a few electrics down on the floorboard. Cause like I say, this isn't going to be a NASCAR. It's going to be kind of a hill climber, like a rally car of some sort. Not sure what kind of livery I'm going to go on it or on it with. Tires and wheels I got out of a box of parts or a bunch of stuff that a friend of mine had. These came off of a snap together Mustang, I believe, the newer model Mustang. The wheels did. The tires came off, I think, off of a Tamiya kit. But these are going to go on there. These will, I'm just going to leave them to gray. I may touch up a color of the center cap of the, the color that the car is going to be. The car itself, I'm leaning towards doing it in just a really high gloss black, which I've had quite a few people say I'm crazy for because you're going to have to get it ultimately smooth to not show all the boogers in the in the in the body work hoping not to have any but you know you know how that goes that'll be pretty much how it's going to sit it's right about right about there it won't sit all the way up inside the fender but kind of hard to hold it balance it there front end will be like i say it's pretty low That's where the front end will sit. But I think these argent colored wheels will look pretty cool against the car if it's all gloss black. Give it kind of a cool look. Then the hood, you can... Whew, got a little bit of allergies. Anyway. The hood, you can see where I cut the, the hood and added the teardrop into it. All I did was cut the teardrop off with a Galaxy hood, cleaned it all up, got it down to where I wanted in size. And then I just set it on top of the Mustang, or the Shelby hood, Mustang hood. Traced around it with a marker, and then I just cut the center out of it, dropped the, the, the scoop right down in it. All right. This is going to be the intake I'm thinking about going with, putting on it. I don't know if I'll put a carburetor on top or maybe go like a throttle body type. If you didn't have the tur two, all the piping coming in for the turbos. Not quite sure how I'm going to route everything yet and what, how I'm going to go with as far as the intake side of things go. Um, These are still in the bag, but i got to get the gist. These are what the uh, the front, these front hoops here are made of, are from. Oops flipping thing around here these uh the front you know the fender wells or the, the height whatever you want to call them are made from you know these you can find these on just about any chassis pan i think if you're really wanting to go that route i also thought about going with a wing or spoiler on the back i don't know if i'm going to yet or not i've got this i thought about cutting this one down narrowing it up and then putting that on there it won't be quite as wide It'll probably probably cut like an inch and a half out of the width and narrow that up if i go this route i don't know yet exactly um hold on one second i'm gonna pull the turbos out of the bag here got a friend of mine he builds uh semis it was up in canada rick chupa is his name he got i asked him one time about some turbos and he sent me a bunch of them when i was building my grave digger conglomeration the social circumcision and that was you know after the fact after my friend ken did the turbos for that on me around that for me but after the fact i was building something else and he said well i got some turbos for you so he sent them down well process he sent me a few more so i got a few turbos to play with this project along with another project that i'm building 
are going to be uh, twin turbo powered. But this is what the turbos are. Like I said, I got to figure out how to run everything and cloak everything, clock everything, not cloak. And these will, I have two of these mounted up somehow on the front end of the front end of the car. But anyway, that's that. What's in that box? So now the question is going to be, what's in that box? Now, I'm going to say one thing. When you guys see what's in this box, you are probably going to flip your lid and call the Insane Society on me to have them come get me, put me in a one-size-fits-all leather jacket, and put me in a padded room. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I don't know if my son knows it's in this box. If he does, that's good. Hopefully, he won't let on and say what's in this box. But I will tell you this. It's not a 1950 Chevy pickup truck. I can give you a clue and a hint. It is a 1950s Chevrolet, but it's just not a pickup. And it's not a 1950 either. It's a little bit later in the 50s than that. That's the only hints I'm going to give you. And when you see this thing unboxed, it's in progress. It's still really, really, really crude and really, really, really rough. But you guys are going to sit there and shake your head and wonder, what in the world is this guy thinking? <laughs> and I like that because it keeps you all on your toes. <laughs> so with that in mind, hope everyone's having a good night. Hope everyone has a good weekend. And over the weekend here, at some point in time, I'm going to start on the next tutorial, which is going to be channeling and body dropping. They're kind of the same thing. They go hand in hand. Following that up, I'm going to be doing a sectioning how-to. But I'm going to do the channeling, or I call, I call it channeling because I'm the, like the old school terminology. I'm going to call it, you know, I'm going to go with channeling like I always have. Body dropping is kind of the newer terminology of the years here. And uh, that kind of will lead into the sectioning because through the body drop channeling, it'll kind of tell you what you need to do with the interior pan and such. But we'll get into all that, but I'm kind of getting ahead of the horse here. But, but the next coming up is going to be body dropping channeling. And we'll go over that and then following that one up, segueing into sectioning the body. Just got to figure out what I'm going to use to do them both with. But I'm going to probably get started on that tomorrow a little bit. But for now, what's in that box? Give me some clues. Give me some ideas. See if you guys can think as crazy as this guy. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. We'll see you on the corner.